In this lesson, I'll be talking about the way issues of copyright and fair use affect the blended classroom, why we should be concerned about these issues, and the different sorts of tools we can use and the copyright statuses that allow us to use those tools. First, remember that copyright is a legal concern and I'm not a lawyer. The purpose of this presentation is to raise awareness about these issues and give you some ideas, but not necessarily to offer legal advice. If there's an issue where you think you need legal advice as far as the way in which you do your job, you should contact your district. So why do we as teachers need to care about copyright? I often hear objections from teachers that are essentially come out to, well, I'm not making any money off of it, or I'll never get caught. So why do we care? I think the most meaningful way to address these objections is to say that we as teachers, even though we're not in a profession where we can make a lot of money off of violating copyright or where people are necessarily really watching for it, it is true that we teach everyone in our society and many of the students we're going to be teaching are going into fields where this is a much more high stakes issue and so I think it's important for us as teachers to model ethical citizenship online and in daily life. Now it's possible to have really long conversations about the ethics of uh, copyright law and teaching and I'm not going to moralize about that. If this is something that does interest you I would encourage you to bring it up in blogs, discussion boards in this class, or during one of the online meetings. But for now, I'm going to focus pragmatically on the tools and the copyright statuses and what is permissible, and you can decide how that affects you in your teaching. So there are three ways for us to use media. We can link, we can embed, or we can upload. I'm going to give you some analogies about what that means, and hopefully that will help you to understand why different tools are okay or not okay for the different copyright statuses we'll be discussing. So first is linking. And the way I think of this is you're telling students to leave your course and go look at some other resource. And so if there were, say, a poster in your town, it'd be like in your classroom saying, hey, on your way home from class, check out this poster. Go look at this resource that's out available in the world. Embedding is a little different. That is where you use embed codes. For example, History Channel videos will give you an embed code in order to share the video. Um, and this isn't quite the same as the case where you're sending someone out to leave the room. Instead, what you're doing is you're taking a resource that exists out on the internet and you're making it visible from within your class. So it'd be like saying, hey, look out the window of the classroom and look at this resource that's out there. You haven't taken that resource, you haven't made a copy of it, you're just referring out your window. And then uploading is the third way to use media. And so in this case, it'd be like the poster analogy. If you went and you took that poster down, or if you made a copy of that poster and brought it into your classroom. And so now the person who put the poster up originally has either been deprived of the original poster or probably more aptly um, has lost control of when and where that poster will be displayed. So the tool you use depends on the copyright status. 